Hello everyone, I'm Randy Suarez, aka Silver Crow. Today we're back with another amazing reaction. This time we're to some more Christopher Titus. Y'all have been blowing up those videos for Christopher Titus, and we're here reacting to more of his stuff. So this video is titled "My Girlfriend Punched Me in the Face," and uh, let's just say everyone has a crazy ex. So <laughs> if you like any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to Christopher Titus TV. I will leave the original link to this video down below in the description. Go watch it uninterrupted. Also, link to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And follow me on those social platforms. Also, link to my Cash App. If you feel gracious enough to donate five, ten, fifteen dollars, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine as well. Say thanks, super thanks. But by donating, liking, commenting, and subscribing and sharing, it lets me know y'all rock with the reaction video, rock with the uh, the channel, and rock with your boy. So anyway, buckle up and <laughs> all right, we're here with some more Christopher Titus, my girlfriend punching me in the face. So let's go. Now most young men, when they get out on their own, will try to find a woman kind of like the one that married dear old dad. But in my case. <laughs> I did the same fucking thing, man. Damn. Oh god, I got out on my own and just started just hacking my way to this briar patch of psycho bitches, my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I still remember and again I still remember why dating a girl she told me by watching <clears throat> spicy films I was cheating on her. But it was okay for her to do it. But it wasn't okay for me to do it and they're like and I'm breaking up with her. Like, are you insane? No. Uh, this and she's like, oh, so you're just gonna break me up for this? And like, yeah, cause you're acting crazy. It's one, one pulled a knife off on me. So I'm like, if if anyone can't have you, no one. If I can't have you, no one can. I'm like, I'm like, what? I thought this crap was in the movies. Not real life, Jesus, man. <laughs> it, it's it's crazy. My last girlfriend, case number two four six dash B. <laughs> was a nut. Our last fight was because she thought I was watching the Double Mint Twins commercial too intently. <laughs> <laughs> Snap, man, eyes went jackal yellow, start speaking Latin backwards, he moleha. <laughs> Came out of it like an hour later, said this to me, I'm sorry. I have a sugar imbalance. <laughs> oh man, no, no, hell no. If it gets to the point that here's the thing, anyone could be in an abusive relationship. It doesn't matter if the uh, if the if a man, like if a man being abused by a woman and a woman being abused by a man. If it gets to that point that he, that person is putting your hands on you, and a lot of people say, oh, you can just, like leave. Like, oh, that's not as much easier said than done. I don't care, personally, if someone's like, oh, I promise I won't do this again. Please come back. I have friends who went back to their abusers and come to me and ask me why did not why did not leave sooner. And I told them because you believed in the wrong person. And, I, and I'm telling them in general... You believing in someone who's willing to lie, lie, gaslight, uh, just just to make themselves feel good so they can have some type of control. And I let's put it this way: I have witnessed this in person for nine years in a marriage <laughs> that made zero sense to begin with. And this is the one, also the reason why. Uh, oh, because this person also pulled a knife on my dad too. Uh, you know, and result, and result, in the result of me getting cut, because when this was happening, this I was in ninth grade, and let's say, uh, dad, my dad has a crazy ex too. No, diabetes is a sugar imbalance. Mm -hmm. You are an estrogen Molotov cocktail. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I'd said that. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a night in jail because of that woman. But they don't let you stay in jail just because you're afraid of your girlfriend. <laughs> Sadly, no. <laughs> oh, man, I still gotta see her every year at the annual restraining order renewal breakfast. <laughs> you see, she had a little quirk, a little glitch. 
We'd get an argument, I would present my side of the argument. Her retort would invariably be to punch me in the face. <laughs> Twas a sugar imbalance. And people who always make, <clears throat> make that as a, what's the word for it? As an excuse, oh, because I, okay, I have, I have known a few people who say, oh, because I was this way, that's why I'm doing this. But you, I'm like, then you know it's wrong, but you still do it anyway because you have an excuse. And you don't want to correct that at all? Well, I don't know how to. The level of insanity of that. And I'm like, okay. It's like when someone, how can I put it? Someone, parent or parents left them or died and everything. They never really got over it. And some people, you can never be truly over it, but you can move on so you can live a life. But using that as an excuse, it just makes you, what's the word for it? Not human, per se. I could, but I digress. I started carrying Twix in a holster. <laughs> <laughs> it's two for you, none for me. <laughs> <laughs> Again, no one should be going through this. And the weird part is, this girl had, you know how people have a build to anger? She had no build to anger. Like, you know, so you're fighting with something, they're getting, oh, they're getting really pissed, man. I should only piss them off a little more, then I better stop. <laughs> you know? <laughs> she had none of that, man. She had two speeds. I love you and a... <laughs> and the only hint I ever got she was about to snap was a second before she would snap. The room would smell like ozone. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what the ozone... Okay, to give you an example, it will probably smell like... Burnt grass, the best way I can put it. I know the exact... Because I dealt with that with one of my... Uh, with <laughs> that crazy ex. And that's the one that pulled the knife on me. I'm like, oh crap, not this shit again, because... Again, I've been, I've been stabbed, uh, sent mother and all this stuff. It's a whole, whole long story, long story. I'll get to it whenever I feel like it. Her and I had a fight Christmas Eve watching Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Are you freaking kidding me? Where I ended up calling the cops. <laughs> yeah, that earns me a white trash black belt. It does, it does, it really does. <laughs> Oh, man, and the thing is, we didn't fight about Rudolph. We were just, you know, we were, we were at my dad's house. We were halfway through Rudolph. We're snuggled. We got a blanket on us, an Afghan, for God's sakes. <laughs> Ironically, the most peaceful of all blankets. <laughs> uh. So we're watching Rudolph, you know, Hermie's gonna be a dentist. I'm stoked. And all of a sudden. <sighs> She goes, what kind of loser watches this crap? I said, hey, Twix. Punch me in the face. So I picked up her $200 Ferragamo shoes, went to the front door, opened it, winged him across the street. Yeah, because I knew they'd get her ass out of the house. <laughs> she was that kind of woman, man. Chase a designer label like a fat guy after a velour jogging suit. <laughs> But I'm so afraid of her the second she leaves, I start locking doors and windows like I'm Anne Frank. Oh. And how can I put this? Again, if it ever gets that bad to the point that you start to locking the doors, call the cops. Call the cops. Like, I still remember an incident that happened at one of my at my job, this is like years ago, when a uh I, and this happened, I heard this, I ended up watching the cameras too of this, because I work in security, I can do that. Um, this person was abusing his ex-wife. My ex-co-worker caught this, told the man to get into the golf cart, I'm going to take it to the office, I'm going to call 911. And he said he, he was not going anywhere, she ain't going anywhere, 
Uh, it's like, man, I'm getting in the car. She got into the car, and they're about to drive. This man literally drove his truck and rammed into the golf cart that we use, tipping the golf cart over and made it kind of tumble. The lady jumped out in, in time, but my coworker kind of didn't. But you know, hurting hurting his leg, but not too bad. He just walked with a limp now. Um, he pulled out his weapon and shot the truck. Didn't shoot the guy. Shot the truck, and kind of made. He also had him enough time to actually remember the license plate, which the lady wanted to retract her statement. You know that she gave saying that a hey, he I don't want him to go to jail. Yada yada. yada. What the cops already told him, well, ma'am, that's already too late because he attacked an officer and this camera is showing that him attacking not just the officer but you as well <laughs> again if he gets to the point that he start locking things down and it, call the cops then I sit down to watch Rudolph god damn it damn right <laughs> Oh no. When all of a sudden there arose <laughs> such a clatter. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I sprang from the couch to see what was a man. I went to the window, tore open the blinds, and there was my girlfriend quite out of her mind. And I'm just standing there, heart pounding with fear. She's banging on the glass door with a vodka bottle. Phil just about to hear. <laughs> and I knew the window couldn't take it, and she screamed, Open the door, you bastard! I'll fucking break! <laughs> well, I couldn't let her do that. It was my father's place. So I cracked the door and she punched me in the face. So I summoned my manhood from bottom to top and I screamed like a little girl, Of God, the God! She grabs her stuff and bails. Now, by the way, she was a five foot, 100 pound Jewish girl, and I still haven't forgiven the Jewish people. <laughs> but the cops show up, and I get to explain how this five foot, 100 pound girl has been beating the crap out of me. <laughs> They're taking down my statement like I'm a drunk UFO <laughs> abductee. Yeah, well, ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, ooh. <laughs> stupider and stupider. I mean, I know she's this big. She's got to hook you and believe, dude. She just fight. It's like fighting a gopher on crank, dude. She just, just gets in on you. Yeah, we believe you, Mr. Titus. I think we're going to get Mulder and Scully in on this one. Yeah. I mean, they're not doing anything because Fox canceled them, too. Uh, by the way, his actual, the series that he was talking about, uh, well, his series is actually on his channel as well. So I'm thinking about reacting to it, but then most likely going to be a, like a Patreon exclusive whenever I get to a Patreon. So, yeah. <laughs> Cops leave. Phone rings. It's her. She goes, I took your father's camera and all his lenses. You don't come to my house right now. You're never going to see that camera again. <laughs> I just want to break up with this bitch. Now it's a hostage situation. <laughs> About that time, my dad comes home from a Christmas party. How you doing, Christopher? I'd like you to meet your new possible mommy. <laughs> I tell my dad what he goes, screw it. You didn't need that witch anyways. I said, Dad, she took your camera. Well, you best apologize to the young lady then. <laughs> so I went over to her house, and she apologized to me, wearing the camera, Red four inch stiletto heels and nothing else. <sighs> so I moved in with her. Oh, Christopher, no. <laughs> no. I'm no. behind the fan, but the booty is good. <laughs> but sometimes the booty ain't worth it, Christopher. <laughs> but it is what it is. Sometimes we just get trapped in the booty and no matter how, again, that's a whole nother story I would like to talk about. I'll probably do like a short video about that, but, <laughs> uh, but that <laughs> to have a crazy ex in general, 
it will definitely leave you scarred. You know, because they think they've done nothing wrong. They don't see that they're doing anything wrong. And if you say they don't want to stop, they can't stop until something happens, something drastic happens, something drastic always happens. Uh, but till next time, please take care of yourself. Stay hydrated, stay safe, stay warm. If you like the original link of this video, I will leave it down below. Also, subscribe to Christopher Titus TV. And yes, I'm doing this backwards. Right now, I'm kind of fighting a little bit sleepier. But anyway, but the next time, please take care of yourself. Stay hydrated, stay safe, stay warm. And peace out. And little questions is everything they know about you. No, no, no.